An employee commits a tort. Instead of suing the employee directly, the injured victim looks to the tortfeasor's employer for a recovery. Trey and LaRoche v. Lockheed Sanders explores two methods of placing the employer on the hook, respondeat superior and negligent supervision. Lockheed Sanders employed Patrick Maimoni as a maintenance mechanic. Lockheed assigned Maimoni to hay the fields at Lockheed's facilities. Maimoni used his own flatbed trailer and farming equipment for the work, and he hauled the equipment to various Lockheed campuses. Lockheed didn't pay Maimoni for using his equipment or the time he spent transporting it, but Lockheed permitted him to keep the hay he removed. One fall day, Maimoni completed haying the fields at Lockheed's facility in Litchfield, New Hampshire. Maimoni left his trailer and farming equipment there, planning to return for them on a different day. On October 24, 1990, Maimoni finished his work day and decided to return for the trailer. He planned to take the trailer to his home, load it with hay, and sell the hay at the local farm supply store. Then he'd return to the Lockheed facility with the trailer to pick up the farming equipment. While on Lockheed grounds, Maimoni hitched the trailer to his pickup truck. He started the drive home. On the way, the trailer unhitched from the pickup truck and struck a vehicle. Rita Trehan LaRoche and Lucien LaRoche were injured. Trehan LaRoche and LaRoche sued Lockheed for negligence using two theories. First, they claimed Lockheed was vicariously liable for Maimoni's conduct under the doctrine of respondeat superior. Respondeat superior makes an employer responsible for an employee's wrongful acts committed within the scope of employment. The plaintiffs alleged that Maimoni was acting within the scope of his employment when he was hauling the trailer. Second, they claimed Lockheed was directly liable under the tort of negligent supervision. With negligent supervision, an employer breaches a duty to supervise an employee, resulting in injury to a third party. The plaintiffs alleged that Maimoni negligently attached the trailer to his pickup while on Lockheed's property and under its control. The trial court rejected both claims and dismissed the suit. Trahan LaRoche and LaRoche appealed to the New Hampshire Supreme Court.